This is Chantel D. Christopher, and this is episode two of Working Actor in Atlanta. Please subscribe, share. We're working on creating and building this channel. Please let us give, give us comments about what you like, what you would like to see, and we'll take it from there. Where today we're going to talk about Jesse's Smobit. I think I got it right. Well, when I first heard the story, I was like, ah. You know what? It didn't make me stop and just really just look like, okay, what's going on? But the first thing I do, I don't judge. Because judge, you should not be judged. That's what the words say. And But I did pray for him. I prayed for his accusers. And I prayed for the truth. And as we see, stuff is starting to come out. So I was just talking to a couple of friends of mine. And they were saying, like, okay, so why would he do that? Okay, actors, let's be honest. Um... We go through a lot of different things. It could be the fact that he had bad counsel and somebody told him, uh, look, won't we set this up and do this? But you know what, Jesse? Get some people who know how to plan some stuff and plan it right. Because we all know Chicago has like, what, 10 million, trillion, killion, Lakika cameras? They everywhere. And you're downtown? So I knew it was a matter of time before they come out with saying, okay, we got this, and they brought the people in. Now, I'm confused at the fact that if you paid these people, no, this just was not a well thought out plan. I do believe there is method in this madness. We just don't know what it is. What is my suggestion? Not only to him, but to few, to actors, I believe everybody needs a village. I have a village of five. It has to be an odd number, but it can't be a one. So that you will be able to talk to them so they know what's going on. And when you take a census of what's the best solution from you, you at least get two or four people within that group who will say, okay, yeah, this is the way you should go. And you need somebody who's accountable for you. Why? Because being an actor ain't no joke. Oh, I got a scenario for you. I went on 101 auditions last year, 2018. How many do you think I booked? Is it A, 50, B, 30, C, 1? Go ahead, put your comments. Put your comments at the bottom. Okay, the answer is C. One. No, let me take it back. It was two. So if you said one, you were good. Two out of 101 auditions. That is grounds for crazy. So my thing is, I have to get to the point to do my best job and leave it on the table. Because I also had another friend come to me and said that maybe he was working with Lee Daniels. And I was like, no, that I don't think is true. Because one, Lee understands the business. And what else What did the, What else that person said? They also said that he's messing himself up for the future. This is something I really encourage everybody as an actor. Develop your own stuff. There is no reason. We have a YouTube we have YouTube, YouTube. You can go get a YouTube channel, get monetized, and make as much, if not more than, and then people will come to you and say, hey, I like what you're doing. Example, Issa Rae. It's a beginning. Oh, and don't forget Chantel Christopher, because that's what I'm doing with my channel, is the fact that I'm trying to work and figure out what is the best niche that I'm able, that something that you want to hear about. So, I know I rambled a little bit, but excuse my mess, I'm under construction. So, the key today is one, Jesse, let's pray for him, let's pray that the truth comes out, and also pray that, just pray for him and say, Lord, let your will be done. And I want you to get you a village, three, five, seven people who you can contact and you can text that will always keep you accountable. An example, yesterday, I got a little, uh, I was feeling some kind of way. So I contacted my village 
but they got to me later on in the day. And I took a second and evaluated my day, but my problem was, I had been in the house all day. Hadn't gone anywhere. I was on online looking for jobs, looking for auditions, looking for just looking for stuff online, and I hadn't gotten out of the house. So I needed to go out, get out of the house, breathe some fresh air, and talk to some other people, as well as I set up a play date for tomorrow. I made a coffee date. So this is the day in the life of an actor. We're crossing our fingers. We haven't heard anything from the auditions that we did last week. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.